Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper and today we're going to take a look at the engine that I selected for the 1967 Mustang. As you can probably see in the B-roll and now in the engine bay behind me, I have the new engine sitting in the Mustang. This is a Blueprint Engines 302 roller rocker setup with a 4150 Holley EFI fuel injection system and an Edelbrock Proformer intake manifold. Now this may disappoint a large portion of the internet hoping to see something ridiculous go into this car. But ultimately, I was determined to avoid falling into the typical traps most people on the internet encounter when sourcing an engine. It's really easy to get pulled into the game of chasing a number that ultimately ends up ruining the way your car drives and performs simply because you want to say it has a certain horsepower number, or to get sucked into the game of trying to be unique for the sake of uniqueness and then having an unsustainable engine configuration for a car that actually needs to see miles. In my case, this car actually sees a lot of miles and will be seeing a mix of long road trips, daily driver type traffic, as well as some autocross events or potentially even drag strip events. To find a happy balance, I went with this 302 setup where I know that I can source parts, get a good performance increase over the previous engine, and have headroom to improve it should I need to. If this engine ends up not being quite what I want, simply pulling the heads and throwing some good AFR aftermarket heads on this thing will give me a lot more potential, but I don't have to replace the entire setup. Now, rather than going through every specification of this engine, let's go ahead and watch the time lapse of the installation and I'll scroll the details past as we do. So let's go watch what happened.
Well, there you have it. The 302 that I picked up for the Mustang is now unveiled. Ultimately, I wanted to avoid getting sucked into the trap of chasing too high of a horsepower number for simply saying that I had the horsepower number, and I wanted to keep it something that functioned well on the street, and this engine should check both boxes perfectly. Ultimately, this is probably on the upper end of the amount of horsepower you would really want streetable in a car like this that's driven as aggressively as I drive the car. Between the locking rear end and this engine, I'm going to be able to slide it just fine, and I'm still gonna be able to road trip it across the state or even out across the country with minimal issues. I'm only waiting on the new pulley system before I get the car running, so expect a video in the near future of it up and going. I'll also be reviewing that pulley system, which is going to be converting this over to a serpentine belt setup because I need to stop the high output alternator from squealing the belt. So keep your eyes out for that video as well. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.